CIET NCERT presents audiobook of geography for class 7 entitled Our Environment. This is the chapter 9 Life in the Deserts from page 65 to page 71. Page 65 in chapter 5 you have seen that water means life to plants, animals and people. It is difficult for anyone to live in places where there is no water to drink, where there is no grass for their cattle to feed on and where there is no water to help the crops to grow. We will now learn about the places in the world where people have learned to cope with extreme harsh temperatures in some parts as hot as fire and some as cold as ice. These are the desert areas of the world. These are characterized by low rainfall, scanty vegetation and extreme temperatures. Depending on the temperatures, there can be hot deserts or cold deserts. The people inhabit these lands wherever little water is available to practice agriculture. Glossary Desert It is an arid region characterized by extremely high or low temperatures and has scarce vegetation. The Hot Desert Sahara Look at the map of the world and the continent of Africa. Locate the Sahara Desert covering a large part of North Africa. It is the world's largest desert. It has an area of around 8.54 million square kilometers. Do you recall that India has an area of 3.2 million square kilometers? The Sahara Desert touches 11 countries. These are Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan. Tunisia and Western Sahara. On the right side of the page towards the bottom we have a picture of the Sahara Desert. When you think of a desert, the picture that immediately comes to your mind is that of sand. But besides the vast stretches of sands that Sahara Desert is covered with, there are also gravel plains and elevated plateaus with bare rocky surface. These rocky surfaces may be more than 2,500 meters high at some places. Page 66 Do you know? You will be surprised to know that present-day Sahara once used to be a lush green plain. Cave paintings in Sahara Desert show that there used to be rivers with crocodiles. Elephants, lions, giraffes, ostriches, sheep, cattle and goats were common animals. But the change in climate has changed it to a very hot and dry region. On the top of the page we have a picture of Sahara in Africa, showing the map of Africa covering Sahara Desert in detail. Climate the climate of the Sahara Desert is scorching hot and parched dry. It has a short rainy season. The sky is cloudless and clear. Here, the moisture evaporates faster than it accumulates. Days are unbelievably hot. The temperatures during the day may soar as high as 50 degrees Celsius, heating up the sand and the bare rocks which in turn radiates heat, making everything around hot. The nights may be freezing cold with temperatures nearing zero degrees. Do you know? Al-Azizia in the Sahara Desert, south of Tripoli, Libya, recorded the highest temperature of 57.7 degrees Celsius in 1922. Flora and Fauna Vegetation in the Sahara Desert includes cactus, 
date palms and acacia. In some places there are oases, green islands with date palms surrounding them. Camels, hyenas, jackals, foxes, scorpions, many varieties of snakes and lizards are the prominent animal species living there. Page 67 on top of the page we have a picture of oases in the Sahara Desert. Do you know? Scientists have actually found skeletons of fish in this desert. What could have happened? People The Sahara Desert, despite its harsh climate, has been inhabited by various groups of people who pursue different activities. Among them are the Bedouins and Tuaregs. These groups are nomadic tribes, rearing livestock such as goats, sheep, camels and horses. These animals provide them with milk, hides from which they make leather for belts, slippers, water bottles. Hair is used for mats, carpets, clothes and blankets. They wear heavy robes as protection against dust storms and hot winds. Do you know? Depressions are formed when the wind blows away the sands. In the depressions where underground water reaches the surface, an oasis is formed. These areas are fertile. People may settle around these water bodies and grow date palms and other crops. Sometimes the oasis may be abnormally large. Tafilalit Oasis in Morocco is a large oasis with an area of about 13,000 square kilometers. The oasis in the Sahara and the Nile Valley in Egypt supports settled population. Since water is available, the people grow date palms. Crops such as rice, wheat, barley and beans are also grown. Egyptian cotton, famous worldwide, is grown in Egypt. The discovery of oil, a product in great demand throughout the world, in Algeria, Libya and Egypt, is constantly transforming the Sahara Desert. Other minerals of importance that are found in the area include iron, phosphorus, manganese and uranium. The cultural landscape of the Sahara is undergoing change. Gleaming glass-cased office buildings tower over mosques and superhighways crisscross the ancient camel paths. Trucks are replacing camels in the salt trade. Tuaregs are seen acting as guides to foreign tourists. More and more nomadic herdsmen are taking to city life, finding jobs in oil and gas operations. Page 68 Word Origin Ladakh is made up of two words, La meaning mountain pass and Dakh meaning country. The Cold Desert, Ladakh Ladakh is a cold desert lying in the great Himalayas, on the eastern side of Jammu and Kashmir. We have a picture of Ladakh on the bottom of the page shown on the map of India. The Karakoram range in the north and the Zanskar mountains in the south enclose it. Several rivers flow through Ladakh, Indus being the most important among them. The rivers form deep valleys and gorges. Several glaciers are found in Ladakh, for example, the Gangri Glacier. Do you know? Dras, one of the coldest inhabited places on earth is located in Ladakh. The altitude in Ladakh varies from about 3000 meters in Kargil to more than 8,000 meters in the Karakoram. Due to its high altitude, the climate is extremely cold and dry. The air at this altitude is so thin 
at the heat of the sun can be felt intensely. The day temperatures in summer are just above zero degree and the night temperatures well below minus 30 degrees Celsius. It is freezing cold in the winters when the temperatures may remain below minus 40 degrees Celsius for most of the time. As it lies in the rain shadow of the Himalayas, there is little rainfall, as low as 10 centimeters every year. Page 69 The area experiences freezing winds and burning hot sunlight. You will be surprised to know that if you sit in the sun with your feet in the shade, you may suffer from both sunstroke and frostbite at the same time. Do you know? Ladakh is also known as Khapa Chan, which means snow land. Flora and Fauna Due to high aridity, the vegetation is sparse. There are scanty patches of grasses and shrubs for animals to graze. Groves of willows and poplars are seen in the valleys. During the summers, fruit trees such as apples, apricots and walnuts bloom. Several species of birds are sighted in Ladakh. Robins, red starts, Tibetan snowcock, raven and hoopoe are common. Some of these are migratory birds. The animals of Ladakh are wild goats, wild sheep, yak and special kinds of dogs. The animals are reared to provide for the milk, meat and hides. Yak's milk is used to make cheese and butter. The hair of the sheep and goat is used to make woolens. Do you know? The Chiru or the Tibetan antelope is an endangered species. It is hunted for its wool known as Shahatush, which is light in weight and extremely warm. People Do you find any resemblance between the people of Ladakh and the inhabitants of Tibet and Central Asia? The people here are either Muslims or Buddhists. In fact, several Buddhist monasteries dot the Ladakhi landscape with their traditional gompas. Some famous monasteries are Hemis, Thikse, She, and Lamayuru. On the bottom right of the page, we have a picture of Thikse Monastery. Do you know? The finest cricket bats are made from the wood of the willow trees. In the summer season, the people are busy cultivating barley, potatoes, peas, beans and turnip. The climate in winter months is so harsh that people keep themselves engaged in festivities and ceremonies. The women are very hardworking. They work not only in the house and fields, but also manage small business and shops. Leh, the capital of Ladakh, is well connected, both by road and air. The National Highway 1A connects Leh to Kashmir Valley through the Zojila Pass. Can you name some more passes in the Himalayas? Page 70 Tourism is a major activity with several tourists streaming in from within India and abroad. Visits to the Gompas, treks to see the meadows and glaciers, witnessing ceremonies and festivities are important activities. Life of people is undergoing change due to modernization, but the people of Ladakh have over the centuries learned to live in balance and harmony with nature. Due to scarcity of resources like water and fuel, they are used with reverence and care. Nothing is discarded or wasted. On the top right of the page, we have a picture of 
Ladakhi women in traditional dress. Do you know? Manali Leh Highway crosses four passes Rohtangla, Barala Chala, Lungala Chala, and Thanglangla. The highway opens only between July and September when snow is cleared from the road. On the top left corner of the page, we have a picture of Bara La Chala. Exercises 1. Answer the following questions. A. What are the two types of deserts found in the world? B. In which continent is the Sahara Desert located? C. What are the climatic conditions of the Ladakh Desert? D. What mainly attracts tourists to Ladakh? E. What type of clothes the people of the Sahara Desert wear? F. Name the trees that grow in Ladakh. 2. Tick the correct answer. Part 1. Sahara is located in which part of Africa? A. Eastern B. Northern C. Western Part 2. Sahara is what type of desert? A. Cold B. Hot C. Mild Part 3. The Ladakh Desert is mainly inhabited by A. Christians and Muslims B. Buddhists and Muslims C. Christians and Buddhists Part 4. Deserts are characterized by A. Scanty vegetation B. Heavy precipitation C. Low evaporation Page 71 Part 5 Hemis in the Ladakh is a famous A. Temple B. Church C. Monastery Part 6. Egypt is famous for growing A. Wheat B. Maize C. Cotton 3. Match the following 1. Oasis 2. Bedouins 3. Oil 4. Gangri 5. Lama Yuru Your options are A. Libya B. Monastery C. Glacier D. Depressions with water E. Cold Desert F. Sahara 4. Give reasons Part 1. There is scanty vegetation in the deserts. Part 2. People of the Sahara Desert wear heavy robes. 5. Map skills Part 1. On the outline map of Africa, mark the Sahara Desert and any four countries around it. Part 2. On the outline map of India, mark the Karakoram Range, Zanskar Range, Ladakh and Zojila Pass. 6. For fun. Desert Game. This is a classroom activity involving all the students. The teacher will create a list of desert creatures. The number of the creatures should be same as the number of students in the class. The creatures can be picked up from the categories of mammals, birds and reptiles. Mammals can include camel, yak, fox, sheep, goat, antelope, birds, raven, eagle, vulture, turkey, reptiles, snakes. Assign one desert creature to each student. Ask the student to write three characteristics of the creature on plain sheet of paper. Students can use index cards of size 10 cm by 15 cm. Questions such as, in what type of deserts it is found? Major adaptation, use to man. These characteristics will be used as clues in the guessing game. 
on the board make three columns mammals birds and reptiles paste a sheet of paper in the column under the particular category the class can be divided in three to four groups they will compete against each other in the desert game each group now takes turn in guessing the correct answer explain to the class that they have to guess what animal matches the characteristics listed on the paper for example animal of hot desert has double set of eyelashes to keep away the sand the hide is used for making water bottles the correct answer is camel within the group there will be a student who has prepared the card that student should not answer 10 points are awarded for the correct answer. This game will enable students to understand the desert. You can play the same game by taking different types of fruits, flora and the clothes the people wear. Page 72 Appendix Some internet sources for more information. HTTP colon double forward slash school dot discovery dot com forward slash http colon double forward slash national geographic dot com forward slash http colon double forward slash www dot incredible india dot org forward slash HTTP colon double forward slash www dot wikipedia dot org forward slash HTTP colon double forward slash www dot greenpeace dot org forward slash HTTP colon double forward slash www.britannica.com forward slash http colon double forward slash www.animalplanet.co.uk forward slash there are a couple of blank pages given for the notes made by the students the chapter 9 of total nine chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Production assistant Shanu Muksim. Producer Vimalesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.